What's going on guys? Geeky Optics here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to download the LSPDFR mod. If you don't know what that is, it basically is the Grand Theft Auto 5 police mod. Let's you become a cop. It's so freaking cool. So I have four folders, four windows here that's open. And basically they all play an essential role in order for you to play this game properly. So first things first, I suggest downloading the WinZip. And basically what WinZip is going to do is give you the ability to open up the folders when you start downloading the mod. Right. So download that first. You go ahead and click the download WinZip now. And then it's going to give you the option to either buy it or do a trial. Go ahead and play with the trial. And then once you do that, go to GTA 5 LSPDFR. Just go ahead and Google LSPDFR. Okay. And then once you do that, you hover over this mods folder and you can go to downloads. And then once you click on the downloads, it opens up this whole thing right here. Once you get here, go ahead and click LSPDFR. And once you click LSPDFR, it's going to go ahead and open up its page and just hit download this file and once you download this file file once you download this file you what you're gonna wanna do is agree to the terms and once you do that it's gonna take you to these three right here three different folders you can download what I suggest is downloading the manual install because we are manually installing this game once you do that you're gonna go ahead and click here and then put in the text and it's going to start downloading. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But once you download it, it gives you this folder right here. It opens this up for you. Where'd this go? Right here. Right. Once you download and you click it, it's going to pop this up. And this box right here pops up because you did download the WinZip folder. And this is what's inside that folder. So what I suggest doing is clicking the top. OK, and then it's going to be highlighted in blue, then scroll down to the bottom, hold shift and then left click again. And once you do that, you want to right click and hit unzip. And once you do that, you're going to want to find that where your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is, which mainly is inside your main hard drive. And so for me, it's Windows C. And then what I'm going to do is click on Windows C. And then when you do that, this is what's inside it. What you want to do is click Program Files x86, double click that, find your Steam folder. And once you click the Steam folder, you're going to find Steam Apps and then find Common right here. And once you do that, you go, you're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. And once you click Grand Theft Auto 5, you're going to want to hit the Unzip. And once you hit the Unzip, it's going to download the game. That's it. Like the mod is installed into your folder and you're almost there. You're not quite there yet because you're going to want to make sure that it runs properly. And the one that you download is usually an outdated version. So this is where it becomes essential to go to Rage Plugin Hook. And what Rage Plugin Hook is basically the most current version of the game. And what happens is that Grand Theft Auto 5 or Rockstar, when they update the game, they need to... Um, I'm sorry, the mod needs to be updated too. So Rage Plugin Hook is usually the most updated. This is where you're going to get all the updates. There's no other place you can get for this game, for this mod, I'm sorry. That's the most update. So go ahead and you're going to download this. And basically this is the newest version. And if you don't download it, what's going to happen is the game's going to crash because it's not going to be compatible. So go ahead and download that. And when you download that, I'm not going to click on it again because I did already do that. And once you do that, it's the same concept as when you were downloading the main folder for the game. You go up to the top, left click it, it's highlighted in blue. Go down to the bottom, hold shift, left click it again. Then right click, go to unzip, and it's the same process. You're going to go ahead and find that where your main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is, which for me is Windows C. Then double click Program Files, and once you do that, it opens that up and find Steam. Double click Steam, then find Steam Apps, double click that, and then go to Common, 
double click that and it opens up this folder which all you got to do is find Grand Theft Auto 5 mines right here and when you do that once you get into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder all you got to do is hit the unzip button and boom your newest version is installed and that's simple that's how you do it and the last thing I wanted to show you guys is open 4 what open 4 gives you the capabilities of is that you can go ahead and go into the Grand Theft Auto 5 files and really manipulate it. So this is the way you can replace like cop cars like the Grand Theft Auto 5 vanilla cop cars and install the modded versions that you see on the internet and it's really really cool and it's really important to have this. Once you download it all you got to do is find out exactly where your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is and all you guys got to do is repeat the steps that I showed you and this is it and once you go ahead and download all that stuff all you got to do is then go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and you repeat the steps you you see what I'm what's what's happening here you just basically got to go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folders to pretty much do everything to install it and to play the game so once you get back to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder find the Rage plugin hook which is right here it's a Rockstar logo with a black background it really stands out because the rest of the folders are pretty much just blank they're just white and once you do that you double click the Rage plugin hook and once you click it, you are set to go. The game is going to start. You're going to see it. It's going to say Rage Plugin Hook so you know that you properly started the game. With that being said, that is really that simple. Hopefully, you guys could go in and just do your patrols and like get into that role play. It's so much fun. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions on future videos I should make for this, show you guys how to install the police cars in open 4 I can do that let me know if that's something you want to see and if you guys have any suggestions on any sort of mods that you think I should try out go ahead and leave it down in the comments other than that thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys have so much fun with this because I really love this mod other than that see you guys later